I'm not as dumb as you think. Oh my my, how delusional can a person be? And we've been watching you for years, Angela, and you have indeed handled everything in your marriage with Michael pretty dumbly. But what made Angela say this? Let's unravel it all. Welcome back. I, while this Angela has landed herself in some deep trouble, not Angela is here to uncover the dark truths behind Michael's intentions of marrying Angela. For a long time, Angela had suspicions about him scamming her. Surprisingly, it turned out to be true. This has to be one of the biggest bombshells in 90 Day Fiance history. Yikes. The episode began when Michael and Angela met up to discuss their visa situation. She was upset as he had moved the location for his interview without telling her. That's when she first had doubts about her husband trying to scam her. He may have wanted to come to America without her. Getting a visa and we will be together, okay? Here's the deal. I don't want you to tell me what I want to hear. I'm telling you. I want you to tell me what I need to Angela, oh Angela, where does it stop? Michael isn't the only one to blame in this situation from where you get the audacity to claim you made Michael who he is and it's your money he's after. In all fairness, TLC made y'all all that you are or else viewers are so tired of your antics that they have tried to get you fired through petitions multiple times. All that you earn from the show is because you have Michael by your side. You won't be shit if your husband wasn't doing the show alongside you. Oh, How about that? Get your car apart. My car. Michael, come on, Michael. Oh, you wouldn't have the money to afford your expensive surgeries either. So. Michael has been a contributor to that too. Well, Angela got the shock of her life when she took Michael's phone and discovered something very grave. Apparently, he was a group admin of Paradise Men. She first didn't understand what it meant as there were huge money submissions to him. So Michael tried to defend himself and tried to get away from the discussion by saying it was a piggy contribution to give to a local contractor. Move ducks. I used to be scared of you. Now I'm pissed. Move the f out. Get the f out of my way. Angie. Bye. Haha. <laughs> it's almost like the geese were warning Angela about what was to come afterwards, or maybe just laughing at her poor fate. Good job, buddies. Well, Angela didn't buy any of this bullshit and took away Michael's phone to look by herself. <laughs> she left him and warned him that if her attorney told her she needed to leave Michael, she would be out of there from the first flight. But the truth was yet to be out. Angela realized Michael had a group with more than 100 men and he was teaching them to scam American women. He named the group Paradise Men because he considered the US to be paradise. Mm. Give me a chance to explain myself. The reason why it's called the Paradise Men Group is because, you know, you are going to the U.S., land of free, you know, like the U.S. is a paradise. That's all. These things only kept getting worse when she realized men had shown off huge bundles of money and made contributions to Michael. Uh-oh. At this point, I don't think we'd be able to defend Michael even if we tried to. Mmm. Kind of makes sense why he was so patient with Angela being absolutely wicked with him during all the years of their marriage. You see, he was in it for the long run, probably planning the biggest scam out of all scams. Angela finally realized he had a money ring and was in business to scam stupid, innocent, dumb American women through other Nigerian men. There were details in the group about them Googling life insurance that made her wonder if Michael ever contemplated killing her. It was a big blow for Angela. But wait, wait, Angela really couldn't keep it together when she heard an audio where Michael gave details to almost 200 random men about his wife's tax returns. Like, jizz. Uh, they know my personal business. <gasps> Do you understand what he's done? They can scam me for every thing. He doesn't seem as innocent as he looks anymore. Angela was in a turmoil and claimed how Michael and all these men could scam her out of everything with such personal and financial information. What a snake. Um, that's what she said in this situation, rightly so. For years, Michael earned everyone's sympathy as fans felt Angela mistreated him. But for what? Don't get me wrong. I too didn't approve of her toxic controlling ways, 
but Michael has been equally wrong when it comes to scamming her. There were instances in the past when Michael had cheated on Angela with local and American women. But running a money ring and having fellow Nigerian men pay you so you can lead them to paradise is super vindictive too. Who would have thought this man was probably running a racket for seven goddamn years? It's like he's a kingpin of this very big ass scam. After all, he was the admin of the group, the mastermind behind this ruckus. Like, good lord. This episode was really eye opening. Later, when Angela had Michael's phone, she threatened to report him to the federal government for his Paradise Men scam. He had nothing left to say and instantly lunged to take his phone away from his wife. These things got so messy and heated that the filming crew had to step in to separate them. Let's rewatch it together. And before you me and my family out of my goddamn hard earned money, I'm gonna report this to the federal government. I've had enough. All this stuff. Hey, this is my phone. Get that phone! This is my phone. No, it's mine! It seems like the ship keeps sinking for Michael deeper and deeper. It's not all. Whenever fans accuse Michael of scamming his wife on social media, he defends himself. He says people should bring proof if they think he is a scammer. If not, then they should leave him alone. As per last update, Michael did come America, but left Angela for two months with her in Georgia. Reports said he had a burner phone when he ran, and when Angela filed a missing complaint, Michael contacted the cops to reveal he had only gotten away from his wife and had not been missing. Yep, I'm also thinking the same way you are. Both Angela and Michael are conniving and problematic as ever. We'll have to wait and watch to see how TLC handles this storyline further. Until then, Not Angela will be here to fill you in with the latest 90 Day Fiancé scandals and tea.